Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Arkham and Art series is back on the short tracks, this time at Lanier National Speedway. First race of the week, uh, top split. Not as strong of a field as it has been in previous weeks. Car number seven qualified eighth. Um, not my best lap, but not not a terrible lap. We were about a tenth off the pole. Um, some quicker guys qualified a little bit slower than I expected them to, so... Around some fast guys getting stuck on the outside is probably not going to be the best thing. Um, this setup definitely is loose. Set her off. Uh, just going to hope to uh, try to keep it clean and uh, hopefully be able to just breathe and not, okay, Jake. not lose ready? it. If I can just keep it going go, go, straight go. the whole race, I'll be happy with that. Probably won't be seeing me get full throttle very go often. Side, one to the inside. We're not going to be pushing line. it three wide. Just uh, need to find He's a way there. to the bottom. So the point exactly. as we get turned. Right off the bat. Right off the bat get turned. Sorry. Oh, that's what I was wondering if it was going to happen. So, just like that, the bad luck in Arca continues. That's last. At a wreck last week I couldn't avoid, and this week we get turned. I don't know. I mean, we got apology out of it, so that's what we can do. Car doesn't feel too damaged, so we'll just, just take the lumps. Short track racing, anything can happen. We'll just see if we can pick up any spots at all. There goes one around, so there's one free spot. That was the 20. Hopefully I will just be able to uh, grind out another couple spots and minage, minimize the damage. Fastest lap for Goff, 14.39. Wasn't thinking about Sorry, running many of these. Four, One that just four. lost it, able to get underneath him. There's another wreck. There goes another one. The 17's going to go around, so we're going to get to his outside. It was like three or four spots right there. P18. Yep, three spots, cool. We'll take that. And we still got, that was the 20 still, so not another spot. Gap to Bruce behind is now 1.82. And I almost go around, just barely able to hang on to it. That's how easy it is. And then when you get the tires hot, they are a pain to deal with. So I'll just settle back in, cool the tires back down. Especially the right rear, you can see one going around. It's Once you get it hot, it's it's really easy to keep losing it. So front is now keeping it pointed zero. straight, just done a easing it into the corners, one, one, easing it out of the corners, keeping that right rear temperature down was a huge deal this week. Oh, well, there was a spot. That was the five. Uh, I think I see smoke ahead. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple that are slow. So, slowly picking up spots. If I get anywhere near, like, the guy in front is 10, Scott. I'll be thrilled to death. 17 up ahead plus. is a lap down. Got six spots to go to a top 10 plenty of time. We still got 45 laps to go. On your right. 17 lets us by. Got lap time. I know the That's leaders are going to get to us for the end of it. So we will likely not finish on the lead lap. In front is now 18 0, pushed 9. up into 3. Excuse me, the 14. The gap behind is now 1.51. One. I feel like I was kind of middle of the pack in the pace, so wasn't sure how I was going to stack up against everybody. It looks like we're picking up some time, as long as I'm hopefully not overdriving it. That is the 21 that we just went by. There's a little bit of a loose up ahead out of the 9. Those tires are hot. He's going to go high. We're going to stay low and hope he doesn't come down the track. Still there. He's still to our outside. Clear him now. So the 11 up ahead, ahead had an issue. Yeah, top 10 might happen. As I overdrive the entry into one there, able to catch the car at least. Clear inside. Nope, we got contact up ahead, car's slowing down, 12 going around, he goes up high, I'm able to avoid that. Nine's gonna look to the 14. outside, but backs out. Let's see if he cuts underneath here. 
Stay high. Clear inside. We got traffic all over the place. Lap cars, lead lap cars, everybody everywhere. The last lap time was at 14.95. Try to get to the inside of the 11 yeah, if we can. He's still there. Still there. He does not got us down at all. And we're running about the same pace as the leaders. A little bit off, but. Right side. Lap times are going to be slower here running right, on the bottom. The car is McCray. Clear. Picking our way back up through the field. Nine's been following me through. P12. 14 in the that four. 14. 10 are the next five. three up ahead. They are all four position. The lap car is in between us at the moment. Yeah. You can use full throttle, but you just, just feel like. 14.63. For me, to keep the rear tire temperatures down, Come like on, three quarter man. throttle has been Great. a lot better. Great job. I'm screwed. Got some problems up ahead, smoke, you can see. What an idiot. What an idiot. People yelling. I don't know if that's gonna work out in our favor or not. If you're loose at the lap car, don't go down the freaking track. People that was not happy at all. One away from the nine, no pressure behind him either, so just all about surviving and keeping the car straight. Couple laps away that from the halfway mark. 14.68. Not really catching the three cars up ahead, but 10 maybe. Not the 14 and the 4. Okay, yet. Jake. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0.73. The crew chief tells me that we're closing in. So we're going to keep pushing. Almost overdrove one and two there. Got a little loose on the exit of two, so back it back down. Cool that right rear back down. P11. 14 goes for a bit of a blink. I overdrove one and two. The track temperature's rising. It's now 123. Track right. temperature. Couple degrees warmer than where it was. It was Halfway 121, home. I think, for the, the start of the race. Not the hottest track I've ever been on, but it's not helping matters either. Ow, 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 ow. That last lap really was bad. 14. One and two Six there. One. I'm so lucky to save that. Just got a little too, a little too happy there, and a little too quick into one. I can see everybody up ahead and I want those spots, but can't overdrive it to get them. You're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 0.56. Closing in on 20 to go. 10 locks the brakes up into one. That there was that contact. 40. We're just going to go underneath everybody. The there was three now. spots right there. Six, so that'll put me back to where I qualified in eighth. And Nine's also been the benefactor of that. He just followed on through again. P8. The lap time was at 15.5. Uh, I will take free spots whenever I can get them. Gladly take free spots Man, this died. week. Trying to do my best to watch out up ahead and see if anybody else loses it. I have 20 to go the next time the by. Next car is white. That so lap time just was overdrive 14. one and two. Twenty-two. I don't know where he qualified, but I run in seventh as the number twenty-two car is a great run. Got by the five. Five is a lap down. We're sitting a little over two thirds of a lap behind. Leader with a nice two second gap. Gap to white over ahead is Justin. I will be perfectly happy 
this result if we were to finish here. Eighth place. Arca at a short track here, especially Lanier this week. Really, really tough combo to be quick without killing the tires every time. So if you can figure this out, it'll make almost every other short track car feel really easy. I'm just trying to breathe, calm myself down. Five getting loose off of four. Just keep myself calm, hit my marks, stay in a rhythm. See where the five's gonna go. It's not willing to give up the bottom yet. Right side. Gives us the bottom that time into one. Thank you to him. Clear up high. All right, Jake, you're reeling. Thanks, five. I appreciate it. The gap is now one point two three. It's got to be easy on that throttle, especially now that the, that the right rear's wearing out a bit. Smoother on it gets me more power down. Really driving with an egg underneath it. Trying to make it feel as soft and squishy as possible. So I don't stomp on it. Kill the car. Closing it on 10 to go. I don't know if we're going to get to the 22, but Hater recovered from 22nd up to 8th, mostly by Rex. I will take that any day. The lap time was at 14.80. Harland is now in the lead. I mean, we're catching the 22, that's for sure. I just don't know. 10 to go, is there enough time to show them back up on the relative now that there are lap cars behind us? The actor white in front is now 22 is definitely fighting tires in the corners. You can see him pushing up. He can't get it down to the bottom as well. Okay, Jake, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm trying to get to him. So if I can get to him. Wait for him to push up, go underneath them, and hopefully get on by. The car in front of us is white. Big chunk gain that time out of two. Can't be too aggressive with the move, though. He's got to look for a mistake like that right to side. get to his inside. He's still there. Try to keep him up high. Still there. Slowly working Still on there. him. Got a little loose there out Still of four. There. Seventh position. That lap was Not clear 15. yet. Clear high. Yeah, I'm on right side. Still battling to the outside. Still there. Clear high. Hopefully this time be completely clear. Yep. Cool. Let's take another spot. That'll be the last one we'll get barring a wreck. So we've got Almost three seconds up ahead to the eighth. And four to go. Hey, so was, uh, I'm running right where I raced and says I'm supposed to. We can catch up here. That's a good, that's a good week. You got one on the inside. So I say that inside 13 player. had issues, so now we pick up a free spot. V6, you've just done a 15.22. Two to go when we cross the line. On away from the 22 as well, so Two laps left. no pressure from behind. White flag now in the air. White flag, last lap. The actor white behind is increasing. It's now 0.88. I'm sure guys are probably downshifting. Keep it going. I am perfectly fine with what I was doing. <sighs> I can breathe. That's the finish. Well Got a sixth place, uh, almost third to the top five. I'm not going to complain one bit about that after getting turned early on. I'm uh, really happy that I was just able to keep myself calm, try to grind through it. Obviously, wasn't wasn't the prettiest race. Um, yeah, let's clear. Let's get the overlay off and take a look at everything. Tires were 93, 92, 231, 223. Still leaning on that right front a little bit too much.
Great job blocking your but there, brother. Not uh not too unhappy with the tires. Um definitely feel like I probably could have rotated it in the center a little bit more, kept it on the right rear a little bit more. Uh but that would have definitely taken me a lot of practice uh, to get ready to do that and be able to do it consistently and controllably. Um yeah, just uh it, it this week to do what I wanted to do and keep keep a good pace, it would have required eight on a practice for sure. So um, I'm pretty happy with it overall, though, from the tires' perspective. You got 95, 93 out of the one. The three was also 95, 93. So um, a little bit off, but but not anything too terrible that way. So let's take a look at the beginning. Where did we go around? Look at the start. Just watch it. So, start it again on the outside. I've got the four there. You can see them behind me. Wasn't trying to get under the car up ahead. Was really not trying to take it three wide. Yeah, there it is. So, I don't know. I think he expected me to get on the throttle a little bit sooner, obviously. Um, I was just kind of tiptoeing the 13 to the outside or to the inside. And that was the, uh, the 18 up ahead that I was just trying to follow behind him. So, the four. Let's see. Dives it in. I, I think he drove it in a little bit deeper and uh, expecting to be on the throttle a little bit sooner and just uh, makes contact with, with my left side, uh, which just any contact with these bumpers on these cars, it just, it, the, the noses do not line up, so it sends you around. So you can see me uh, unfortunately going around at the brakes locked. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it there. And, uh, you know, fortunately, get clipped there on the back end. Thankfully, it didn't really do any serious damage. It was, it was at least in one of the slower parts of the corner, for the most part. Not the slowest part, but slower. And, uh, you know, able to get it going again. Um, let's see, I don't think the four really had pressure from behind, but... Five was his closest on the outside. Yeah, he had no pressure. I think he's just expecting me to get back on the throttle a little bit sooner, and I'm not quite to his skill level to be able to do that, so he just got it in the back, and he apologized on the radio, so you know, it, it sucks, but that is what it is. Obviously, we were at least able to recover from it, so, um, you know, let's see. If I get, he had 4X. I'm assuming he probably got a 4X from my contact, and then another 4X at some point away, so let's see. The 8 didn't have any... He finished fourth. 16 didn't have any. He finished fifth. So your top five. Uh, no. First, second, fourth, fifth. All didn't have instant points. Uh, third place did. But yeah. Uh, nine cars out of 22 finished on the lead lap. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty rough. Um, we could look at everything. But I'm going to jump into uh, late model race. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, biggest key. Just... Break early, get the car pointed in. Just a little bit of throttle to help kind of shift the weight. But don't don't use too much. Kind of get it around the center of the corner on the bottom. Then then get it straightened back out. Then you can apply the throttle. Uh, don't feel like you have to use full throttle every time. Just keep that car going as straight as you can. Keep the rear tires from spinning, and uh, it should put you in a good good spot. Just always always look out your left side of your windshield. Watch out for the wrecks. Dodge them. Be prepared to go every way. And uh, just survive the uh, the fun that is Arca Lanier uh, this week. It can actually be a, a pretty good learning combo uh, if you can learn how to drive it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know all your thoughts. And uh, until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.